Welcome back to the channel. GoPro Australia has sent me their brand new, well it's not that new anymore, their new Hero 11 action camera which is a big step up from the Hero 10 and in this video I'm showing you how to shoot the best and easiest sunset time lapses without flickering. There's a balance between convenience and quality and you're going to find out what that is today. Let's go. So as I mentioned there is a balance between convenience and quality. You could be shooting RAW files or .gpr files on this new GoPro, however you need special software to grade that and it is just a bit inconvenient to do all that. Why not use the built-in settings to their best abilities and create files in camera that are just banging straight away. So let's go over all the settings. Because we're shooting sunset and we're going from day into night, we're going to be using the night lapse mode. Night lapse mode has a built-in algorithm which smoothly changes our exposure as well as our white balance, which has been getting better and better with every iteration of the GoPro. Now, what about all the other settings? You want to capture the highest resolution possible, because why not? So set it to 5.7K. This uses the entire sensor, which also makes it easier to crop in post for both widescreen as well as vertical and square crops, obviously. Enable the linear lens, and for format, we're going to be shooting video, not photo, because as I said, photos are just hard. Here's a photo sequence in LR time-lapse, and you know what? It's really slow to edit these. And then you have to like the fish eye them and all that. So just shoot video with the linear lens at the highest resolution possible. I most often shoot on a five second interval. I use the auto shutter so the camera decides the exposure time per photo. I set no duration limit and I set a three second timer at the start so that the first frame isn't wonky because I press the camera and then it moves and then it stabilizes. You can use scheduled capture to shoot a sunrise while you're snoozing in bed if you live in a place with a view like I luckily do. I often start shooting about 40 or 30 minutes before sunrise to catch a bit of a, a night to day sequence which you can turn into a time slice etc. But yeah between an hour and 30 minutes before the actual sunrise is a good time to start shooting. One thing you definitely don't want to do is use the zoom. This absolutely destroyed the quality so just stay away from the zoom. Then you want to dial in your protein settings, set your bitrate to high obviously the higher the bitrate Rate, the better the more quality etc then your exposure compensation either zero or minus a half EV depends on your preference I fluctuate between them sometimes highlights can be a little bit blown out depends on the type of sunset but yeah zero or minus 0 0.5 EV compensation set your white balance to automatic and this will ramp it gradually over the sequence ISO minimum to 100 ISO maximum to 200 or 100 you can choose the lower the ISO max the lower the noise will be in the final bits of the sequence and also the longer your light trails will be and the faster it will start trailing your light trails because it uses a longer exposure to compensate for the lower ISO max. Does that make sense? Set your sharpness to medium and then as for colors, I go with natural colors because sometimes the other ones can go a little bit too far and you can always add a little bit of extra color grading in an editing app uh, that you prefer to do it yourself but if it's baked in it's harder to remove it as opposed to adding it on top later on and that's it for all the settings start shooting when the light is nice or about an hour and a bit before the sun actually sets check out google or an app like photopills to check out at what time the sun sets make sure your clock is set correctly and then just let it run until the battery dies or plug an external battery in and let it run for much longer. And that's all I've got for you today. A quick little video about how to shoot nice sunsets and sunrises on the GoPro Hero 11. If you want to learn more about time-lapse, check out my free eBooks about time-lapse and hyperlapse in the description down below. And if you have any questions, please drop it in the comments as well. That's all for today. May your skies be filled with fluffy clouds.